Hello friends, Dennisy here and welcome back to The Den. Uh, I have been doing quite a bit of work around here. As you can see, I have removed a lot of trees and uh, getting this area ready for us to build on. I think I'm gonna name it Stenol. Stenol. I, I don't know why, but it just sounds correct in my mind. Stenol. Sten... No? Now it sounds wrong. <laughs> Stan? Stan? Stantal? Stantal. Okay, Stantal. Um, Stantal is going to be a agricultural area, meaning that they're gonna live on um, farms, farm living, and uh, wheat and carrots and whatnot. Uh, I've already done a little bit of work, uh, as you may have seen, I had a building right there, and that is a pumpkin slash melon farm, and uh, I wanted it up and going as fast as possible. I've tried to record, but I'm not, uh, I, I've been playing a lot with my recording settings, uh, so um, that they were wrong, they were off. But, it's weird to see that these guys are glitched out, like, two of them are, three of them are glitched out. I need to see if that's something I need to worry about, if I need to fix it or whatnot. But, um, let's take a look at the mechanics, because um, the observer will observe when these guys change their appearance, like, they're supposed to be like that. So, when they change like that, that means that they are supposed to have a uh, melon on them, right? And when the observer notices that, oh, we heard someone go off. Um, when the observer observes that, he will get mad and push it down with a piston into the hopper, and we will get some melons. And the same with the pumpkin farm. Um, they're not as big as the ones we previously made, but seeing as they're automatic, they are going to produce more than what we could at the, uh, like, we could probably get one stack in one hour. And that is basically this farm's, oh, look at that, it did a, it did a, it did a thing. That's basically the, Oh, I'm so sorry. That was not my intention. That just suddenly came. That was a burp. <laughs> um, but uh, one stack an hour is maybe this farm's uh, speed as well. Maybe. I I'm not sure. I haven't really taken the time, but it seem to me it seems faster than me going in and chopping them all down. And this is the first melon farm that we've had in this world to begin with, so that's pretty, uh, that's that's a decent one. And seeing as it's just us on this world, I, I don't mind it being a little bit slow. I placed down some melons down here to kind of sell sign that says, hey, here's the, here's the melon, and pumpkins over here to sell, sell tell us that, hey, the, the pumpkins are over here. So that's kind of cool, I like that. Um, but what I also want to do here, uh, concerning the building, is I would like to have one, two, three, four, five. I think that's the height I'm going for. Oops. Let's just double check. Yeah, that's the height I'm going for. Um, in between here, we're going to go with regular stone. And when the regular stone is kind of place down, I'm gonna go in and add a little bit of detail into the stone itself. So instead of us building it out of um, stone brick, we're gonna use the stone brick as a uh, accent of some sort. So if we go ahead and fetch the uh, silk touch pickaxe that I've made, we can quickly take a look at how that would look. So that's the silk touch. I need to repair it. Oof. Uh, we can go right there. Maybe we can go right there, there, 
there and maybe one more nah i think one more would be overkill so we go there there and then lastly i i thought i had an andesite but i don't i don't that's fine we're gonna go like that there we go just doing a little bit a little bit of that because if you look at cartoons this is something that i picked up from pixel if i'm Sorry, not sorry. Um, if you um, look at cartoons, for example, they will have walls in one color, uh, if, if it's a brick wall that they're drawing, and then they will add a little bit of bricks into the drawing instead of making the whole drawing in brick texture, if that makes any sense. I'm not sure. I I'm not explaining it as well as he did in his video, and I don't remember which video he said it in. Uh, if I did remember, I would have credited the video. Maybe I will. Maybe I will look through. Th that's a lot of videos to look through, though. But uh, I think that I am going to go ahead, do some work here, and get the building up and going and we can take a look at it when it's all done. Okay, we are back. I've uh, had some dinner and uh, done a little bit of work. Oh, my microphone is way over there. But uh, yeah, I've uh, done a little bit of work and um, we will take a little bit of a peek and do a little bit of work together in just a second. But, uh, I just wanted to know, uh, I, <coughs> excuse me, I am nowhere near finished. It's, th there's a bit more work that needs to be done before it's actually finished. Uh, so just keep that in mind. But I, I think it's starting to take shape. Yeah, I like this. I like this so far. Uh, uh. Uh, the second floor, I'm thinking, could be some sort of sugarcane farm. Not a big one, just big enough to keep us saturated, because uh, we do need to eat. I've uh, had to go back to the base already and fetch more food, because... Well, we don't have the production going yet over here. That's fine. Like, we got the pumpkins going, which is nice. That's very nice. We, uh, while, I, while I were eating, I paused my game instead of AFKing. I, I got nervous about dying. Uh, we got some chickens going here so we can get some uh, eggs, so that is good. And we got this manual sugarcane farm. I don't want it, I don't want it manual. I want it to be automatic, which is kind of why, um, I, why I want to make a sugarcane factory or farm or whatever I should call it. And up on top of here, I'm thinking we could go something along those lines. Just just to give it a little bit of something. Maybe we could even go with spruce wood. Because I've been chopping down some spruce trees. But that does kind of make a bit more sense. Maybe if we add like that to the build, maybe that'll be even better. I think so. Yeah. Oh, up, up, up. I like that a lot. So I think I want these guys to meet up. Cause that I I I don't know. I don't know what what it uh pictures, but I like it. I like it a lot. Maybe maybe it's some pipes, you know. Uh, but um, I I I, I want to try to make this build better than any other build I've made. Although it's not in the style that I'm used to build, like... If you if you, if you you watch my other series, Petrium, I, I talk a lot about depth and uh, having... having that, so like... Uh, for example, I really enjoy walls that go... for example... Like so, like that is barrier uh, carry carriers. Um, 
like the logs will carry the build and then the wall is behind that sort of but i kind of want to try to do other stuff than just that which is why we got this building but it looks kind of weird to me uh but maybe it's just me i don't know but it, it is at least starting to take shape, and I'm starting to really enjoy it. And um, one thing we can do for extra detail, because I do want some more detail. Detail is amazing. Let's see, where did I throw? There we go. Just gonna go ahead and fetch some leaves. We're almost out of rocket, so we need to get some more out of the ender chest soon. But what we could do... Oh, I landed on top of the... <laughs> I were supposed to take it down anyway. But like, we could go a little little bit like that. And then we could go a little bit like... Downwards like so. And kind of start to bring it downwards like... Like that. Kind of. And that'll add a lot when we kind of get it down. And it, it can even hide out a little bit of the wall. We can also go a little, little bit like this. Just... Like so. Let's see. Silk touch. Thank you. And then we could perhaps go like right there. And then like... So, just to, just to add a little bit of extra stuffs. Just, oh, I'm I'm forgetting to use. Oh no, I'm not I'm not using the better leaves. Oh, I knew there was something missing. I took them off because I were chopping down big oak trees, and it wasn't easy to see the extra logs in the leaves. If that makes sense. But uh, let's see. Can I? Can we work? I just want to play. Come on. You can do it, computer. There's a lot of resources to load, though. And I guess I can take the box away, because it's a brown shulker box, and I don't really have shulker boxes. There we go. Ah, that's even better. Look at that. So yeah, we can do stuff like that to kind of add some extra to the build. Although I don't think... That one, I think, is a bit weird. So if we rather go like so... So it can kind of climb up onto the roof. Let's see, can I join? Can I come to the roof as well? Thank you. Oh, not there. My bad. Um, I meant to go right there. And then we could go like... Like so. And those kind of meet up. And then this one could... If we get back up here, we can take these away. Because I don't think we're going to go that way. But we could go this way and kind of go down here. Oh, I fell down. That's okay. I don't have feather falling, so I can't fall down too much. <laughs> uh, let's see. We can just get real quick back up. And then we could go like so. And this could kind of bring itself over. Come get, ah, can't reach that, come on. There. And then it can kind of get slowly downwards like so, and stop right there. Let's see how we like that. Back down. I'm so looking forward to 1.14 with scaffolding. That's gonna be great. Yeah! Although it looks kind of weird, like, it looks too forced. So I think maybe we could go in here 
and kind of bring this one up here as well to kind of get a little bit of a more viney feel instead of forced. Yeah, I like that a lot better. Just simple stuff like that can really bring out a build, in my opinion. Um, although, I guess that's up for debate. I mean, the more interest you add in a building, the more likely you are to have some interest, <laughs> basically. Let's see, if we go ahead and just chop away some of these and add some vines underneath, um, where they kind of grow further. And I think I want that one to be a bit darker, just because we can. And then we could go like that, because then it'll look like it's darkened by dirt. If that makes any sense. So if we go like that there as well, that'll be really good, I think. And then we could do the same right here. Go ahead with uh, spruce log. Dirt that one back and give it a little bit of depth. And there we go. And there. Adding a little bit of stuff like that just to kind of bring the build out a little bit. I think it's very good. We could even... Come in here with some spruce logs, maybe? Maybe that'll work. Something like so. Like, very subtle, but it's there. Let's see. Yeah, I think so. I think that's a lot better. It's really starting to take shape. I'm I'm really loving this build so far. I'm not sure if we're gonna do more leaves on this building. Uh, I might to kind of bring it over that roof as well. But I'm not really certain. Um, I'm not sure why I placed that one. I throw okay, and oh, that's fine. Um, maybe we could actually have a few leaves just randomly in here as well, kind of just a little bit like so, and then maybe right there, and then maybe one leaf right there. Yeah, it feels much more alive than uh, a lot of the stuffs I built in the last world. <laughs> I am so sorry. That was disgusting. I am sorry. Let's see, we're gonna take a sleep, and then we're gonna do one more thing, and then we're gonna take a little bit of a break in between clips, and I will do a little bit more work. There we go. Because my resource pack does a little bit of a thing with note blocks. So if we do that, we get something that kind of looks like a crate. And I think we can do some good stuff with that. And we can also do some good stuffs with a crafting table, which we already have. And we can go ahead and make a couple of chests. And a couple more note blocks. Because we can do something with this. Uh, we can kind of... Uh, maybe... Um, maybe right here. We can go with a crafting table right there. That one right there. That one right there. And... Another chest right there. And then maybe another note... A couple of note blocks like that. Or crates, as I'm trying to make it look like. Uh, not right there. That doesn't work, because it's... It looks like it's floating, sort of. Um, but we could perhaps place one other right here. Maybe. Let's take a little bit of a look. Um... I think it's too close to the wall. These guys. That's easily fixed. We can just go here. Chest right there, chest right there. Note block right there. Note block right there. 
And then we could maybe go... Um... Okay, let's try an oak slab right there and then oak slab right like so. And maybe... no. I don't think so. I don't think they're gonna work together. Um, but I think maybe something like that could work. Maybe we could even take the crate on the bottom right there and have a crafting table and... no. Okay, how about this? We get one chest right there, one chest right there. Oh, okay. I didn't mean to place it there. Okay, so what if... We start with that one, then we go like that, and then we go maybe... Hmm... I'm so terrible at this. Uh, let's just... You know what? Let's get this note block right here. Then we could go... Like so. That works a bit better. Yeah, I, I think I like that better. Uh, I'm just... I just want it to look more... Alive, sort of. And I think that does it. We're gonna be back in just a second. Okay, so I'm just working away, go and take a sleep and come back, and all of these guys have spawned. Uh, I may have to fly away a bit, because they will despawn if you fly uh, a certain amount of blocks away. I, I'm not sure how many, 120 or something? Something like that. Uh, and then I need to return, and I need to light it up a bit better, I'm thinking. Now, I could have flo flown the way we originally came, but uh, just to keep the minimal explored until 1.14, because it would be nice to... Oh. It would be nice to have things to explore when 1.14 comes out. Let's see, if we fly downwards now... I think I may have... Oh, there we go. We're getting back home. Now, before we go in, I want to make sure that they actually despawn and... That I'm not just running into a... Suicide, <laughs> basically. Uh, so... Let's get back up on the roof to check that. Okay, nothing... And they, they have despawned. Okay, good. Okay. So we can go in right here and just... Light up like so. And we can go in the back here and light up... On each of these. I think... That should give us enough... Lighting. I think. That is not scientifically proven. <laughs> like, yeah, th there's a science behind everything. So, it, it's not scientifically proven, it's just... I'm guessing, if I just light up... Like this, everywhere... There shouldn't be any room for... Uh, any sp spawns, sorry. A little bit of a hiccup right there. And there we go. This needs some love as well, so we're gonna go ahead and do that, I think. That ought to be good. I think I may overdo it <laughs> with the um, torches, but... You never know. Okay. But I, I just wanted to kind of show you guys that. Uh, I were hoping to get one... Of the guys who were trying to shoot us. Um, but he, he kind of lost interest. But then he got his interest. And it, it just kept on going like that. He, he pulled up his uh, bow. Put it down. Put, uh, put it up. Put it down. And just kept on going like that. And it, it was just really funny to watch. So I were hoping to get that in. But um, he moved away. 
he, he really lost interest. So, we are basically finished for this episode. Um, I, I, uh, I'm gonna keep working here uh, for a little bit. Oh, no. That's not good. There we go. I think that ought to be good. Let's, uh, let's see that. That's not bad. It could have been a whole lot worse. I think that this is a good beginning. It's the first proper building we're building in this world. Like, we, we have the stadium, but it's far from finished, so it's not a proper build, I would say. It's more like a circle with basements. <laughs> I think the roof ought to be, like, th uh, that roof ought to be taller. I feel like it should be. But at the same time, I feel like this is good. Maybe I need to change out the material back there, because I don't, I don't think it really fits. I think maybe wood would be better in the back there. Let's uh, try that. Let's go with uh, spruce wood, maybe. So, we need to take these guys down. Like so. And then we can go in. I, I just want to get this building right before I call it a day. And then we go like that. H how do we feel about that? It's a step in the right direction, I think. It's better. And I decided to rather have these crates and stuff in here instead of having them on the outside because I think it makes a bit more sense. But we are out of time for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, you know what to do. Thank you so much for what. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, bye-bye.